So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and welcome to the ExoZombies Carrier Easter Egg Achievement Guide inside of DLC 3 Supremacy for Advanced Warfare. If you guys enjoy this guide and it helps you out, definitely smash that like button down below on the last map infected. My Easter Egg Guide got over 15,000 likes and support like that is absolutely phenomenal. So if you guys do find this useful and you could reach anywhere near that, that would be absolutely insane. I also have the Easter Egg ending on my channel as well, it'll be linked in the description and annotated on screen make sure to watch that either now or later so you guys can catch up with that it's absolutely epic you guys do not want to miss out on that but let's jump straight into the first part so in order to begin this easter egg you need to open up part of the map and get into the armory and you want to buy yourself the telefrag grenades for 750 points off the wall you want to keep opening the map until you get to the cargo area which is where you pick up your exosuit and in that room there's going to be a trap which is called chompy and it's a lawnmower that goes around the cargo area you want to activate the trap which is called chompy and then as chompy is making his way out the door you want to shoot your telefrag grenade and you'll get inside this small little room where we have a generator and that will be the first step this generator is going to power on the weapon disposal machine as well as the grenade disposal machine or the plinko machine and that is going to be leading into step two now this step takes place at the grenade disposal machine or the plinko machine now this might sound quite confusing so i'll try and break this down as quickly and easily as possible possible so we want to move some grenades over to the right side they currently have these red bulbs we want to turn them green and as you can see in order to get this to work we need to throw a teleporter frag grenade into the machine it will then move this kind of cone shaped thing in the middle over to the left side where we now have these brand new rows and as you can see with the cone the like little icon on the cone keeps spinning and cycling between different grenades we have four different grenades we have the standard grenades that you spawn with we have explosive drones which are the small kind of blue skinny ones we have the distraction drones which look more like small little fans they've got like almost what looks like little propellers and then we have a nano drone which is the light blue one so you'll see them on the screen now and what I'll have in the description for you is an order that you need uh, to throw your grenades in that need to land on these specific grenades on that uh, little cone so the first one you need to throw a grenade in the machine when the grenade grenade cycle is spinning on a distraction drone which is the massive propeller one uh, and then as you can see it kind of drops down there and acts as a sort of propeller then you just throw a grenade onto when you see the cycle go to a normal orange frag drop and what will happen is it will kind of throw the um uh, as you can see the little bulb over to the right and you need to do this for these two other steps which i've got in the description guys if you follow exactly what it says in the description you'll be able to do this first step absolutely fine. Now, what I'll give you a little tip is that at the end of rounds, the uh, Plinko machine gives you like a free uh, throw. It, like, it doesn't move or, or change the size of the hole in any way like it usually does. Uh, so that's something to look out for as well that you can briefly do at the end of rounds if you want to try and get this done quite quickly. But once you have all of these done, all three of these bulbs will light up and you will be given the tablet, which is on the right of the machine. You can pick that up and what you need to do is take it over to the vault in the gun deck and that will light up another one of the green bulbs. Now every time you enter another one of these keypads you get a quote from Oz so this is the first quote. I was confronted today by some of my senior staff. They demanded the access codes. I reminded them who was in charge of this list. Uh, that's and they reminded me I was only one gross. man aboard a ship of hundreds. Now for our next step, we are going to want to spin the 3D printer a few times and any weapons that you get out, you want to give to this weapon disposal machine. You have this zombie with its hand out reaching out and you need to give it some weapons from the box and eventually it will drop you some really cool items. The first one we need is a bottle which is going to make us drunk and that this is a pretty crazy step so what you want to do is that when you have a clear round and you uh, have no zombies around and you know you're going to be able to do this what you need to do is you need to hold X to activate this drunk bottle and then your character will become drunk now what you need to do after that is come over here next to the cargo and there'll be this weird kind of um, hand printer that you activate whilst drunk what will happen then is there'll be a timer on screen and there'll be this really crazy laser maze which you have to traverse your 
yourself around. It will be in the cargo, it leads you into the moon bay, and then eventually will lead you out towards the hangar, where you'll be able to find the next number pad, which is laying by a teleporter. Now, this step is pretty crazy, and you will need to make sure that you have no zombies around, otherwise this will mess you up quite a bit. You need to make sure that you have a very quiet round, and being drunk does a kind of mess around with the uh, the way your character angles and, and tilts his, in this body so you need to make sure that you can control that a little bit and don't, not to touch the lasers at any point because that will reset it but luckily if at any point you do touch the lasers all you have to do is just come back over to the pad activate it again and the uh, two minutes or whatever amount of time you have depending on how many plays you've got in the game will activate uh, and you won't have to worry about going back to the bottle to drink again to become drunk you stay drunk for quite a long time so try and make sure you do this with like two zombies left or something like that because you don't want the next round starting whilst you're drunk because it does make things a little bit difficult but as you see there I got to the hangar I saw the number pad on the floor I picked it up and then I could use the teleporter took us back take it over to the vault and we get a brand new quote Captain's log, day 12. The crew tried a different tack today. Chief Officer uh, Darwin met me in my private quarters and... Where did all my bullets oh, go? My. I don't think I should read the rest. Wow. Is that legal? Darn it. Ah, oh, fuck me. We all salute. <laughs> So now that step is taken out of the way, we can go on to the next step. And for this, we need to get more weapons out of the 3D printer and give it to the weapon disposal machine with the zombie arm. And what should happen is eventually the zombie should start giving you parts, which are parts for a fishing rod, which lead to the gun deck. There are three individual parts which you need in total for this fishing rod. And this is needed because we're going to be doing a pretty awesome step very soon. But you don't need this just yet but it's nice to have this set up nice and early so you know you have yourself set now for the next step you want to start killing zombies and when you notice teleporter zombies when you kill them they're going to be dropping some very weird looking parts and these are actually parts of the telefrag grenade now there's a teleporter in the bio lab which uh, doesn't work anymore but these little pieces slowly but surely will get this teleporter working again now for me it took around about 20 different drops of this of this item and for me to put it in the teleporter before I finally got it to work and it will take a long time so just keep grinding on out the rounds and keep picking these up and eventually you will get this teleporter to work uh, as you keep going you'll hear the sound of the teleporter kind of sound more and more active and eventually it will have a blue light on it now before we take this teleporter you want to go back to the gun deck and use the fishing rod until you get yourself a shovel we have to take a shovel with us when we go into this teleporter because it's going to take us to a deserted island and on this island you're going to be digging down in the sand to try and find this next key code now this is quite tricky it can take you any number of tries for me personally on the first like run trying this easter egg out it took me around about 30 attempts before i found it but on my second run i found this within my second try so it's literally just a bit of trial and error to see whereabouts it is could take you a different number of goes but you will eventually find it as you can see it right it rises out of the sand you pick it up and then it will teleport you back into the map you take it over to the vault and then we are almost towards the end of the easter egg cover me while Day i reload 13. darla turned on me as i knew she would despite the untold pleasure and pain she inflicted upon me i would not give up the codes i'm bleeding out from the stab wounds and blah 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 i think i should go back and read my day 12 huh? So as you guys heard, the experimental weapon upgrade station is now online, so you can now upgrade your guns to Mark 25, which is awesome. We are almost at the end now, and what we need to do is you need to go over to the hangar, and where you see the Captain DJ locker, you need to hold X on that, and you should hear a quote from the character saying something around the lines of, you need an eye scanner, and you need to do that, otherwise this step can't continue on. I had a problem where I didn't do this, and I wasted a lot of time when I could have spent time 
doing the Easter egg. So what happens is when you activate that, start the next round, and then when you have a few zombies left, look around the map, and where you usually see the flying UFOs, which contain a drop inside, you should see two of them. You should see one with a drop, and one which seems to have nothing inside. Destroy the one that has nothing inside, and you will find that a tool is dropped, which you need to take down to the moon pool area, and this is one of the items we need to do this next step. So what you want to do is come over to this wall here, and you'll see this small box. You need to insert this tool, and it will open the box and allow you to activate the cage in this, which is absolutely insane. So now, what we need to do is go back to the gun deck, and we need to fish for a small fish. You may have seen this item before. You need to have a small fish on you, otherwise this step won't work. Once you have the fish in your invent, come back down to the moon pool, start a round, and what you want to do is you want to start killing zombies on these small square pads that you can see. What happens is, as zombies die on these pads, the blood from the zombies fuses in through the glass and into the water where we have a shark waiting for us. So I'm throwing a load of distraction drones, just trying to kill as many zombies as quickly as I can, and you'll know when you're getting near because you either see the shark swimming in this kind of main uh, square which says watch your step, or you'll hear a quote from Oz uh, saying something to do with sharks. So once you've done and killed enough zombies, you see the blood kind of infusing into the glass and you hear the quote, what you want to do is you want to go up to the lever and you want to activate the cage. The cage will lower down onto the middle and you want to hop inside and what will happen then is you'll be faced with a giant shark. You want to spin around and, uh, and look at it and hold X and what should happen is you will come back out and you will have in your inventory an eyeball which is the eyeball of the Captain DJ which is needed for the last key card. Once you come out you want to make your way back to Captain DJ's locker you want to hold X and the locker will open and you'll find your keypad lying there in the locker. Take that back to the main vault and you will have activated another and will be on the final step. On day 50, the captain has gone missing. Well, no shit. It's because Darla did him in, dumbass. Quote, we assume he is dead. Darla pretends to have no knowledge about it, but I'm convinced she went to see him. Perhaps she'll target me next. Yeah. You should be so lucky, first officer. So now we're on to the final step of the Easter egg and what you want to do is you want to put weapons in the weapon disposal machine again but this time instead of a, a fishing rod parts we're going to be getting ourselves a piece of C4. Now this time it doesn't matter if you use weapons from the 3D printer. I used the MP11 off the wall and that gave me the piece of C4 which is absolutely awesome. You take that over to the vault and that's it. You've completed the Easter egg. You've got yourselves 50G, you've got yourself the achievement and you've unlocked the outro cutscene which you can finally linked in the description or annotated on screen at the end but I really hope you guys found this guide useful if you did smash that like button I'd really appreciate that let me know what you think of this easter egg down below in the comment section and what you think is going to happen with the results of that outro cutscene but thank you so much for watching guys subscribe if you're new around here and I'll catch you on another video very very soon